Mars is a desert world. This side-by-side -side view of Earth and Mars shows their relative sizes. Mars has about 38% of the surface area of Earth, but it's nearly all very dry, very cold desert. Perseverance has been exploring a landscape that is a mix of fractured bedrock and smooth, darker plains. Recently, it arrived in a place that at first glance looks pretty uninteresting. Mars Guy helps give a sense of scale. But it reminded me of a scene at the edge of the Atacama Desert, high in the Andes of Chile. That's my orange backpack for scale. This remarkably smooth gravel surface is known as a desert pavement, although it goes by different names around the world. It's made of interlocking stones only one layer thick, a monolayer. I scraped off a bit for a sample which revealed the fine gray sandy soil underneath. Desert pavements are thought to form by the action of wind carrying away the finest fraction of the soil and leaving behind coarse material. Over time, a lag deposit forms that essentially armors the surface against further removal of soil. Here's a nice example of desert pavement in the Sonoran Desert of Arizona. Note the very angular stones, which shows that they were not tumbled by flowing water. Same with these much larger stones that form in what's referred to as a hamada in Libya. Note the tire tracks, which show that the monolayer of stones can be pushed down into the soil. My favorite example is from Western Australia, where it's called a gibber. The desert varnish on these very flat rocks reflects the sun, and the way that they interlock looks like a puzzle. On Sol 114, Mascam Z imaged what appears to be the Martian equivalent of a desert pavement, but the pebbles don't interlock, they don't even touch each other. The wide angle view from the rear Hascam shows that the pebbles get pushed down into the soil, so they seem to be in a monolayer, like desert pavements on Earth. A nearby small impact crater helps to show this. The pebble layer got pushed aside and there's no concentration of pebbles below the surface. The Watson camera on the robotic arm got into the action on Sol 115. It shows the physically distanced pebbles and a really unnatural line of holes a few millimeters wide. No, this is not some mysterious Martian artifact. It's the line of blast holes from the SuperCam laser, checking out the chemistry of the soil. The real mystery is why none of the rovers on Mars has ever observed a more Earth-like desert pavement. All of this may seem like a useless academic question, but we're getting useful ground truth about what different surfaces are like on Mars. In the coming years, a rocket like this will be landing on an unprepared surface of Mars. There will be no smooth, solid concrete pad, so the more we know about the different surface types on Mars, the more likely it is that rockets will be able to land and launch safely.